Hello, we're going to go over the move instruction and uh, also hit on counters a little bit because they work well with this demonstration. So the move instruction is, um, as it uh, described, it moves data from one source to another. Now in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the move instruction to make some different recipes for these pumps. So here's my little recipe selector here. If I uh, select recipe one, I'll pump different amounts of product. Recipe two will be a different uh, amount of product, and three, again, different amounts. And the way that's done with the move instruction is if you look at this move instruction here, it's going to move a value from one source to a destination. So in this case, I'm moving a 100 into this counter 50 preset and right below it I'm also going to move 125 into counter 51 preset and if you look at here here's an equal instruction I'm just using that because uh, if you look at if I go to a 1 here now this is true because my little thumb wheel is set to 1 and it equals 1 so 1 equals 1 if I push enter I'm going to execute these two moves right here. So if you look at that, you'll see the equal instruction is true. I pushed enter, so that's true. Now if I go down and I find my counter 50 and my counter 51, I should have a 100 and a 125 in their presets. And they happen to be down here farther. And there they are, 100 and 125 in the preset. Now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go to 2. Now you'll see this is true because it's highlighted. If I push my enter, I'm going to move a 50 and 185 into there. 5185 should be moved into there. If I go down and find my counter, there's a 50 and 185. And my third one is going to move a 135 and a 60. And what essentially what that's going to do, if I show you this code here, um, these counters are going to control these pumps. So there's a done bit on the counter. Counter 5.0 has a done bit. And that's right here. If it's not done, then we'll pump up uh, until we get to 60. And then it'll shut off as long as I'm in position A. So if I go to position A, now it's, you'll see it's counting up to 60. It went done, so it shut this one off. This one's counting to 185. This is C51. And when this gets to 185, this will go false and shut that pump off. So this was recipe 3. So recipe 3 puts 60 counts of one product and 185 counts of the other product. I'm going to go to position B and empty this. I have that right down here in my code. Position B empties it, and it also will reset my counters. So it's very important to remember that any counter will need a reset. And you'll see my accumulation value went to zero as soon as I reset them. So let's go to recipe one. I'm going to stop this. Now, as soon as I push enter, you're going to see these presets change. And they went to a 100 and a 125, which got moved there, right here, 100 and 125. I'm going to empty this again. And let's do recipe 2. And again, until I push enter, it doesn't move. Now I'm going to show you one very important thing about this. Um, these move instructions, if I go offline right here, if you don't know that there's a move instruction tied to this counter, you may mistakenly go and change it right here. Okay, so you want to put 100 in here, and let's say 75 into here. And now you're thinking that you're going to make a recipe of 100 and 175. Well, if I go 
online right now and go to run, that's exactly what will happen. They're going to go to 100 and 175 and stop. But what you need to do is you need to find out where these actually are coming from. So anytime you're thinking about changing uh, any kind of data within the PLC, whether it's a counter or whatever it is, um, cross-reference this back and find out where this data is coming from because what you're going to see is as soon as I push enter right now, these changed and went back to the uh, move sort data. So, uh, you know, this is a great example of a move instruction. And one uh, other important thing to remember about move instructions is a lot of times that's where data is coming from. So you can't just go and change data here if it's coming from move instruction. Um, and also remember, since we had some counters built into this uh, instruction, remember counters will always need a reset. All right, thanks for watching.